This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2021. Septic arthritis of the native knee destroys articular cartilage and bone, leading to irreversible joint damage in 25% to 50% of patients. In some cases, this damage necessitates a total knee arthroplasty, TKA. However, previous reports describing septic arthritis of the native knee preceding TKA are limited by small cohorts and have lacked control cohorts. To address this gap, researchers evaluated the risk of periprosthetic joint infection, PJI, aseptic revision, and reoperation following primary TKA in patients with a history of septic arthritis of the native knee and compared these findings with those following TKA for the treatment of osteoarthritis. The researchers retrospectively identified 215 native knees that had been treated with TKA for septic arthritis at a single institution from 1971 to 2016 and matched them on the basis of age, sex, BMI, and year with knees that had been treated for osteoarthritis. Staphylococcus species was the primary etiology of native knee septic arthritis. For the septic arthritis and osteoarthritis groups, the 10-year survival rates were 90% and 99% respectively free of PJI, 83% and 93% respectively free of aseptic revision, and 61% and 84% respectively free of any reoperation. The mean preoperative and two-year postoperative knee society scores for the septic arthritis and osteoarthritis groups were similar. Moreover, as time between the diagnosis of septic arthritis and TKA increased, the risk of any infection decreased. In summary, TKA following septic arthritis of the native knee increases the risk of PJI, aseptic revision, and reoperation.